people, it's Sebdo OPs back with some more Majora's Mask. In the last episode, we got Zor's Mask and Two Pieces of Heart, which gave us a new heart container. In this episode, we'll be getting two more pieces of heart, yes, and we'll be heading to get those eggs that Mikhail was talking about before he died. Um, right now I'm soaring to, um, uh, oh well, what the heck, I have trouble saying Great Bay Coast. I had trouble saying it last episode as well. Anyways, first off, I want to go get the piece of, one of the two pieces of heart of, I was talking about. So yeah, let's, oh god, hello voice crack. Anyway, so yeah, let's go get that piece of heart. We do need our freaking, only our Zora's mask for that, but you know, I love my bunny hood mask, so I'm just gonna run all the way there. Hooky dookies. Anyways, uh, something I wanted to to talk about, I guess. I've been pretty addicted to GameCube games, if you didn't know already, by the... B, uh, as, if you see the top, middle of the screen, like the B button and the A button, attack button is the A button from a GameCube controller, and the B button is the B button from a GameCube controller as well. Anyway, so yeah, this is actually uh, the collector's edition of... Uh, Majora's Mask, yeah. So, I've been uh, playing a lot of other GameCube games recently. Twilight Princess, um, Super Mario Sunshine, and like, I think I've, yeah, I've played Wind Waker 2. Anyway, so here, we want to kill this guy, this like like. Sorry. Okay, so, and once you kill this like like, it's gonna drop a piece of heart, and we can easily just pick that up. For some reason I was having trouble doing that thing, so. Kill these what are these? Skullfish? I don't even know. Let's service anyways, uh yeah, I've been playing a lot of GameCube games recently and I love Twilight Princess. Well I I recall it not being as awesome, but now I really rem well I think it's more awesome than I remember thinking about it and anyway, so and also super mario sunshine that's like the friggin best uh, for, uh, mario platformer ever i love it i don't know why i used to not like it maybe because i was a noob a couple years ago when i thought it was too hard i think yeah something like that anyways so yeah gamecube has awesome games i really don't understand why gamecube got like a bad release i'm not even kidding like they had the best release game ever, Luigi's Mansion. I also played that. That's freaking awesome. I played Wind Waker too. Anyways, that's not the point. Um, like Luigi's Mansion is like the best release game ever. And yeah, they said the GameCube was gonna be 3D. How didn't it release well? Uh, well, those cheapskates didn't. Uh, Nintendo, those cheapskates didn't actually make it 3D. But who cares? It's such an awesome system, and it has the collector's edition and. My favorite series ever is Zelda, so I would, I bought it because of the collector's edition, pretty much. Oh well, no, I got that later, like after, anyways. Uh, yeah, it has so many good games. It has Sonic, Mega Star Collection, I believe. Yeah, yeah, I have that. I have so many GameCube games. GameCube is like maybe not better than. Maybe it doesn't have better games than the N64, because the N64 did have Rare, I mean, Nintendo did have Rare back then. So they had, like, great games like Banjo-Kazooie, and stuff like that. Anyway, so, if you see, if you move to where the fishes were, there are, like, stuff down here. So, there are, like, wooden crates you could hit. One of them is eventually gonna have a hole in it. I think it's the second one to the right, yes. Yes, hit the second one to the right, and there's gonna be a hole in it that you could escape into. Anyway, so here, you wanna put on your stone mask. Because this is like the most useful item for this, uh, for this place. The stone mask makes certain enemies not able to see you. And these pirates you see here, yeah, the girl pirates, um, they can't see you if you put the stone mask on. See, look! Usually, it's, she'd spot you by then, but no! If you have your stone mask on, she doesn't. Anyway, so, that's friggin' awesome. Anyway, so, with our Zora's mask, we want to swim to the other end. Yes, we do. Where there's gonna be a, a wooden platform you could climb up. 
Oh god, I did I actually didn't see that. I was like, why did I get hit? Weird enough. Anyway, so climb this up. Trying not to be seen, dive. Okay, good. I'm gonna take off the Zora's mask, put on a stone mask real quick. Okay, I'm not gonna be using my bunny hood mask for this side quest, unfortunately, because I wanna use my stone mask most of the time. Anyways, as you hear, see here, this was from the um this was from the Goro uh no, not the Gore. The uh God, what's it? What is it? Uh the friggin' a snowhead temple. Why did I have trouble saying that? I have no idea. Anyway, so yeah, like they can't even spot you. That's awesome. Anyways, I'm gonna put my Zora's mask back on. Hoping they don't don't spot me, and they didn't. And we can now go through this place. What is it called? I don't even know. Uh, it, I don't think it has a name. Well, it's a, like a kind of like a tube, sewer kind of place under the Pirate's Fortress. Anyway, so yeah. Enter this, and just continue on. Those are fishes. I, I wish I wish you could bottle things underwater. I'm not sure if you can or not. Let me check. Hey, I think you actually can. I don't even know. I, I'm not going to try it because that's just going to waste time anyways. You wanna, when you enter and break that wooden crate again, you wanna grab this and pull it back. Yes. Pull it back, and then there's another, there's like a bunch more wooden. I missed! I seriously missed. Oh god, that was a fail. Anyways, swim into that. Mm hmm. That's the way. Uh huh, uh huh. I like it. Uh huh, uh huh. Why did I just sing that? I don't even, I don't even know. That's, that is a pretty good 90s song, I guess. Uh, then this, this friggin' stone block, you have to do the opposite and push it instead of pull it, and then you can just walk through this easily. Da da da, it's like, you walk through a battle scene, pretty much. Anyways, so now you wanna go there, and, do you see that, like, tube, kind of, that sucks things in? You do not wanna touch that. Do not touch that because you're gonna go back to the beginning and they're probably gonna spot you there and you're probably gonna ki be kicked out of the Pirate's Fortress. So yeah, you don't wanna be there. Anyways, open up this door and it's yet another room. Room, okay. In this room, there's a piece of heart to get, as you see there. This is actually a pretty easy piece of heart to get. I'm gonna equip my arrow and uh, my bunny hood, yes. Okay, so take off your Zora's mask. Put your bunny head mask on, because you probably want this bunny head mask. Oh wait, that's not the one we have to hit. It's over here. Break these barrels, roll into them, or you can punch them away with Goron. Well, as Goron. Anyways, you want to use your bunny head mask to run all the way into this cage, where you could get a piece of art. So yeah, we got like so many pieces of art right now. You wanna open that again so you can get out, and then you wanna go back up, climb one of these barrels, god, take an arrow out, and shoot that, oh god, I missed. And then that, that thing's gonna open, I'm gonna quickly put my Zora's mask on, jump, dive in, oh god, I landed right on one of those spiky, explosive things, and you wanna go through that. So yeah, oh god, it's one of those stupid things. Tubes again, I don't want to go down there. Oh god, that would have been fail. Anyway, so climb up this and you need an arrow yet again, god. And I only have 10 arrows. If I fail, it's gonna be pretty sad. And uh, how do you open that? Oh god, what the heck was I thinking? Take off your Zora's mask. I'm just gonna put my bunny hood mask on because I love bunny hood mask. Oh god, what the heck am I doing? Take out. Darn it! Okay, let's try that again. Press this, go onto this platform, turn around, and quickly shoot that. And then there's gonna be water that appears. Weird enough. And you can like climb on it, it's weird. Anyways, you wanna jump off. Once you see a platform, you can jump onto. And yeah, I'm gonna skip this part. It's just a telescope up there where you can see what you have to do, but I'm just gonna explain what you Oh wait, you have to go up there. But I'm just not gonna show off the telescope because that's kind of pointless. Climb up these ladders and what you have to do... Oh, you know what? To heck with it. Let's just show it off. Okay. Remember that telescope, uh, like, in the third episode, I think? Uh, yeah. 
there's another telescope. Anyways, you could zoom into this ladder and it kind of like shows you. It's like a scene in a movie. It shows you which way you have to go. And it shows you have to go up that ladder, past the sky, uh, pirates, and go through that bridge. So yeah, do that. Oh god, I'm so gonna run out. What? I, I got another set of arrows. I didn't even realize. Anyways, hit that, and then there's a target to shoot. That opens up the lock door. Okay, so jump down here. I'm gonna uh, re-equip, equip my, uh, what's it called? I don't even, I don't even remember stone, stone mask, yeah, what the heck was I thinking? Anyways, this is like really, <clears throat> uh, this is like such a, the game is such a jerk. Okay, remember that? When we Goron pounded that? Yeah, we could have just jumped there. No, what we couldn't have actually. It's just like, looks like you can do it, but you actually can't. There's such jerks doing that anyway, so. It's actually easy to take, get rid of these pirates. Without the stone mask, but I'm actually gonna just use the stone mask. By the way, if you don't know how to get a stone mask, go to Ikana Canyon, uh, Ikana, Ikana Canyon, yeah. And, uh, there's gonna be a circle of stone. Yes, there's gonna be a circle of stone, and in the circle of stone, there's a dude, <clears throat> put your lens of truth is, put your lens of truth on, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Look, look, you can just stab her. Woo, anyways, put your lens of truth on, and then give him red potion, and there you go. There's your freaking, what's it called? There's your freaking stone mask. Anyways, you see this bee? He goes over there. And in the next episode, we'll see what these people will say. See you guys then. Hey, people, it's... Se hey, people, it's Sebdo. Sorry, I was just deciding something. I've been waiting for you. And Judy, did you find uh, the rest of the eggs? No, no, but that's because... What are you trying to pull here? If people hear the great pirates have lost their treasures they stole, we'll become the laughing stock. Yes, but, but a feel. The sea is strangely murky where we were attacked by the sea snakes. Silence! Dun, dun, dun. That's why the Zoras can't send for any help. Now the eggs are gone, the Zoras should be frantically searching for them. If we don't hurry, the Zoras will get to them before we do. There are four eggs here now. Hurry, go find the other three eggs before the sea snakes eat them. Understood. She's like depressed. Wait! The Zora egg is the only clue we have about the dragon cloud floating out over the bay. If what's that strange mask one says it's true. And if we can get our hands on the treasure that lies sleeping in the temple in the dragon cloud, then we can spend the rest of our lives living the good life. So get a move on now and go find them. Now! Understood! Okay, that'll be it for this episode. In the next episode, we'll be continuing on in the Pirate's Fortress. See you guys then.